Hey guys, Dr. Meathes here back with another episode of our Grand Tactician 1861 Summer Campaign. The last episode we had the death of Corps Commander Leonidas Polk of the Army of the Mississippi at the Battle of Cumberland. A large blow to the Army of the Mississippi. And the idea is who do we promote to take over for Corps Commander? Luckily it was not Albert Sidney Johnson. So that is a good thing, but it's not exactly the best thing. That's the unit we defeated, I think. Well, that's a unit getting hit. Maybe because of the weather. The Army of the Northwest is still struggling in supply, but we are in a siege attack. We do have the CS veterans that are also in the fight. Push them up. Ensure that they are actually in the fight here and not just next to the fight. Our financials are suffering a bit. But we are doing uh, funding that will be done in 11 days and we should be able to get back above a B and actually start doing military operations more effectively into North. So we have this Army of Indiana here, which I am very concerned about. And that's why we're gonna push over the Western Army. Disaster at Beverly. But results. Army of the Ohio is put of withdrawn in face of our troops. And Barksdale is at destination. We do have this division here, which we will move up. Uh, Department of Richmond. We're gonna have to use it to secure Richmond's flank. Now looking at course, Hulk was killed in action. Gideon Pillow is here, Loring. Jones, Donaldson, Scurry, Henry McCullough. Yes. Henry McCullough will take over this command and Little will be replaced down here. Actually, no. Let's do it this way. Edward Johnson is going to take command of this. The death of Leonidas Polk. There he is. Henry McCullough will take over the Corps for his bravery at the Battle of Cumberland. We also have the death of Preston Smith. We're going to bring in John C. Moore to take command of that portion here. And we also had someone run. It was Branch. He was wounded in combat. And he will be replaced for the time being by James Walton.
someone else injured too? It's killed. Army of the Indiana is here. We're going to have to move the Army of the West. Or the Western Army. Over here at Fort Pillow. And hold. Samuel Cooper will be headquarters at Little Rock. Missouri State Guard will stay here. So we can maybe advance on Rolla. However, that is a very touch and go subject here. Yes, veterans. Really hold. Army of the Ohio is retreating back north towards Grafton. The Army of the Cumberland is to the north. West Virginia militia out here with 27,000 men. We're trying to hold the Tennessee line at the moment. However, it is very touch and go at the moment. Okay, Army of the Mississippi is outfitted. Army of Northern Virginia is not completely outfitted. But we are in winter quarters right now. We're not going to cross directly this line. We're going to try to hold. If we need to retreat back, we will. Third Corps can respond to anything against Fort Hyman. We're gonna pull the Western Army. Let's actually change this. Price will now be the Western Army. Let's say, let's call this the army of or the Texas Tech uh Texas Arkansas Arkansas and Oklahoma
You get him towards four pillow. Not so much reinforcing it, it's holding it. Why is that destination? We're gonna move back, we're gonna give him his orders. Then we're gonna move this division back here. They are in fortified positions around DC. Army of Ohio looks like they might cross into Northern Virginia. I don't think it's gonna I don't think he's gonna attack Jackson's core. That would be suicide. Any supply depot near Bragg. Ian's printing notes, and I'm not far behind them. Did Wise have any casualties there? Looking no. At least that's something. As we go into 1862, Union. Starting to more so. Here's another army. This is the Army of Iowa. Out here, 16,000. Terra fact. Actually, yeah, we can get this and get this. This will kind of balance it. I think printing notes is probably best. Right now, I think we need to get money. 
We need to reinforce Fort Pillow. We also need to reinforce the army down here. Twenty two at sixteen. Sterling Price needs more men. Arkansas boys. Thomas Harrison as the commander. Okay. We're going to come in and we are going to bring Actually, the Indian Territory two brigades over here. For John Wesley Evans. Burbridge. You get him from Missouri, not really. He's going to be Texas boys. And then one more from Texas. McCall will have 30,000. When that is done. Oh, that's supposed to not go to McCall. That's supposed to go to uh Bruder. Fail. Let's go to price. All the Missouri units are going to be over here.
Anything more out west we can grab? I know these are draftees and it's probably not the smartest thing to do. But we'll slowly replace those with regular units and kind of go from there. Lucius Polk. Good Fagan. Ashby, some more cannons Indian territory. Thomas B. Smith, get one more Good from Kansas. Gonna be the Alamo division. Magruder's divisions fall from Arkansas. Jordy. First division. Okay. Price should be able to hold anything in Missouri. Keyword is should. We're going to reinforce Fort Pillow and then we'll reinforce his army. But we need to. Get these notes up. Okay, let's get this, the Barksdale's division back to back up Jackson's core. I'm actually going to flip this. Move this here. I'm going to move Stonewall's core here. So that would be 20,000 and then CS regulars add up to 30 and then Jackson's core is front. This holds the river crossing south of Fort Washington to make sure they don't come around us. And of course we got the Department of Richmond to make sure no peninsula campaign comes at us. And then Department of Northwest just has to not lose fights. Easier said than done. Okay.
go deep out here. We're gonna build a depot here. The depot here. Forest is fine. That is supplied from that one. Do the depot down at Little Rock. Here's that destination. Okay, we got a little bit more salad here. I mean, the West was 70 with 7,000, 26,000, 22,000. They're flooding Missouri. They want to take down Missouri most more than anything. Barksdale and Longstreet are in the position. So is Wise. Wise is going to hold here. And we're just kind of going to hold position. All these forces. And wait. So, so they can't flood this area. What we're going to do is... Eventually we are going to push the Army of the Mississippi north. And this is going to be... Our ability to hold our supply lines here because I'll push this up in, into Paducah or Columbus I mean there's Paducah is this Paducah here's Paducah I'm gonna move it up to take this south of Cairo and then we'll kind of just hold as we can Benjamin McCullough. Your regard is ready. Forrest has been ready. Push Forrest across the river to scout. Now we're printing notes. That ram ships, what does this give me? No government funding. We need to get war bonds and stuff like that. We need to get everything up. And have the ability to do stuff. And then I think we'll do... After this one, we'll do industry. They're moving in mass at me.
I did not foresee this. If that's the case, we're going to campaign into Kentucky. I'm going to use this to go up into Paducah. And I'm going to take Forest Crab straight up into Mudfordville. The headquarters will move here. ultimately happen is I will take this and I'll move back to secure my flank here to secure my rear my supply lines this is going to be a massive massive battle one that I know I cannot win one that I will fight regardless Three days we're not going to get those those are 40 at this point we'll pull we pulled in two 12 pound howitzers and 24 pound howitzers or field guns with Fagan's division which are reinforcing We will have a battle on our hands, it looks like. And there it is. 16,000. A lot of them are going to be very, very close. You know what? We will withdraw. Withdraw in an orderly fashion. And we will fight back here. Headquarters command will come up here and we're going to fight them north of Arkansas. It's fine. Once we're done with this construction, we will go into western Tennessee as well. Or western or eastern Kentucky. Wow. I'm pretty sure there's more armies that I can't see. I know one army is somewhere around there. Price is at destination. What? Move him back here. McCullough is going to secure this area again, and then we'll kind of try to regroup around here around uh, Carrollton.
I'm going to move uh, Forest Corps up towards Louisville to scout. Johnson is at Oh, the headquarters company. Of course, that one. I take this. I'm going to come back here and secure my rear. Once I get back in my territory, we will regroup around here. Good thing is we at least have a good amount of things to do. To take Columbus. Full stop. We need to resupply. Once we get this resup this supply hub, then we will resupply. Okay, we do have an army of the west that's moving back. Why'd you go that way? Okay, Napoleon is going towards Mexico. Get a rear guard action there. We gotta retreat back. Our supply lines are about to be cut.
Can't move here. Hmm. I feel like I'm leaving this open. I don't like that idea. Another core of the Army of the Mississippi. More of a light core. Who commands it? Kershaw, maybe? Probably Kemper. Simon Buckner. Simon Buckner commands the Corps. Okay. Okay. Who's the other one? Green. Green is a division commander. No, let's take Grisby as a division commander. Yeah, let's grab. There's some cans from Georgia. Be a ragtag unit. But its entire purpose is delaying action. Okay, Grisby. Take some draftees from Mississippi. I have two small divisions. Fuzzy will have the other division. The Mississippi and Tennessee. Boys. Oh, just will command it. I'm a Buckner's Reserve Corps. First Corps, Second Corps, Third Corps, Forest, Buckner's Reserve Corps, be down at Memphis.
Got around. Same thing here. I know there's more armies around there. I know for one, uh, like for a fact. Okay, at this point, let's take the first core. Proceed to London. Move up to Fort Smith. Okay, we're going to come down to Fort Monroe. Forces at destination. The force is make sure we're not split. Because if we do do that, we got to retreat back down to Chattanooga. We're gonna have to give up Western Tennessee to reestablish. Try not to give up Western Tennessee. I mean, Eastern Tennessee, yeah. Department of the Northwest. Department of Richmond. Okay. Robert Sidney Johnson, the Army of Mississippi is set. Some of them are back in their winter quarters. Some of them are in Southern. So their training is good. We have more men fielded only because we messed them up royally here and here with that campaign right now see like that army of the cumberland is somewhere over here and i can't push the army of the northwest north not in the state it's in same thing with in tennessee i can't Push forward in the state it's in. It's gonna be a holding line. We're gonna get the Impressment Act. This will allow us to resupply our armies easier in our own territory. And thus we can more completely keep a hold on our supply situation. Okay, we're going to go after Fort Monroe here, the garrison. The Impressment Act. There's got to be another army over here. Otherwise, why do you do that to Washington? There's got to be one right here I'm not seeing. And with that army not being ready to do anything, 
I'm not exactly clear on that. Army of the Richmond is preparing the siege. Samuel Cooper is going to come up to Fayetteville and look at the situation around. Actually, and stop. Let's hold this crossroad. Dyersburg. So unless they come up the river, at least our rear will be able to see. If we get out, out maneuvered out flank, we're gonna have to move down to Decatur and back down to Corinth and kind of push up that direction. Okay, Samuel Cooper is out at Fayetteville. Looking at the supply issues we are seeing out in the west. And maybe if we get these supply issues fixed. We'll also be able to reinforce quicker and maybe we can finally go up into Rolla and see if we can't make a move on St. Louis. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of fighting around Carthage and Springfield. Cooper's a destination looking over the troops of Fayetteville. And we're going to stay with the siege. Jesus, McCown is getting his just killed. So here's North here's the Army of Northeastern Virginia. Like I said, I knew there was an army over here. We spotted it about April 6th, somewhere around this vicinity near Pittsburgh, near Wheeling. We have we have a direction of travel through Wheeling. The Army of the Cumberland on the 2nd was seen passing just outside Columbus. Likely to head off Chew's portion at London. If that's the case, we're going to have Albert Sidney Johnson come up to the Cumberland Pass. And if he needs to take command of the forces of Preston Chew. We're trying to hold West Virginia as best as possible. Get an actual forward. Okay, Spanish intervention area down there. The Brits are in there. The French are in there. Color is just now able to reinforce and look around. Two thousand here that are in that are kind of messed up. Got one Enfield. B plus, so the credit rating is going up, but we just don't have the funds to do much. The Department of Richmond is getting absolutely pushed in here. Fort Monroe has 5,000 men. Northeastern Virginia is seen cutting through. It may be trying to cut through and ensure that we cannot. If they get. Charleston, Virginia, I'm going to have to move back to here at Lewisburg. But we're trying to deal with... Nope, it looks like the 15th it was passing through, so it looks like it cut straight down to the tip here and then keeps on going straight through. Cumberland 
Now by Lexington on the 17th. So they're likely somewhere around here, maybe. I think they're heading for the first core here. We're going to get Albert Sidney Johnson across the river. Or this is Joseph E. Johnston, my bad. Take command of the forces. 26,000. It's Army of the Cumberland, which is 22,000. So it should be an even fight. We got 300,000 on the field at this point against the Union's 130,000, but they are very concentrated. And we're just not able to go on the offensive because of our supply issues. Army Northeastern Virginia also was 16,000. It's going to be all up to Preston Chew. Chew. Get the supply depot upgraded here. Some supply throughput. Same thing here at Nashville. Okay. Impressment is done. Revenue Act. We're very negative in everything that we're doing right now. Obviously. Sixteen thousand under McCullough. We will assault at Springfield. We will see if we can get a pitch battle here. There, just like we're trying to force a pitch battle out in Eastern Kentucky. Army Tennessee is here. Biggest issue will be if they try to come around our side. We will not be able to defend that. Okay, let's put out scouts from Forced. Yes, the Army of the Cumberland is spotted here. But I do not see the Army of Northeastern Virginia. Army of Northeastern Virginia, and they are both coming down upon us right now. These are generally raw recruits with mixed muskets. But still a 22,000 force up against about a 30,000. Victory at Fort Monroe. So we grab the fort. Department of Richmond takes heavy, heavy losses. But we do get it. We're going to move back up to Richmond. We're going to hold. At this point, we're going to move up to Grafton. The Army of the Northwest. Or Department of Northwest. 
we lose this, we're going to have to retreat back with this entire force. You are entrenching. You're in camps. Looks like we might have a pitch battle over here. Yep, they are advancing on me. So before they get on within range, I will pause it. We will have a battle next episode. First Corps, the Army of the Tennessee, up against the Army of Northeastern Virginia and the Army of the Cumberland. One thing I am noticing is once you get the core system unlocked, the AI has issues with making the core system. So eventually what we'll have to do is an 1862 campaign where you already have the core system unlocked or maybe an 1863 campaign, another beyond the brink where we're being seized down at Vicksburg, stuff like that. But I'm starting to see that as an issue because they're just going around with, they're not making cores. They're treating them like cores, but I think if they were like cores, they would keep them closer together. And thus you'd have a more active campaign around where their cores are. So kind of hit or miss, but uh, hey, that's what you get from early access game that we're still working on it. So can't complain, I'm loving it so far. We also have movement from the Department of Pennsylvania who's coming towards Jackson's core. Uh, I don't think they'll hit Jackson's core. They might hit towards D.H. Hill's core. But just in case, I'm going to put them on the northern part of Richmond. And we'll see. Kind of what, uh, what happens with the Department of Richmond. So at least they'll be able to reinforce D.H. Hill if he gets attacked. We'll have a lot of reinforcements in the first place. But just Cav Stewart's Cav won't be there. It'll be Jackson's core. Which is why I kind of moved him. So I guess it does work. I'm going to move him up to here because I don't think they're reinforced unless he's like right here. And we're going to move the CS veterans up to Strasbourg. Depending on how this goes, we might exit the Shenandoah Valley and insert ourselves into Maryland, pending and just hold Fredericksburg with the Department of Richmond and kind of maneuver ourselves in a way that we do a pitch battle up near Gettysburg and we do it two years or a year early, depending. So. We'll see. Uh, I did lose sight of the armies over here, so this is not the greatest thing. We do have a reserve corps finally under Buckner, but I don't know what's here. I don't know if these armies have stayed here. Eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to have McCullough move up, but I'm not sure if we're going to have it. Um, what do the lines look like right now? Here's the front lines right now. We're holding Tennessee. We got an incursion into Kentucky. Uh, parts of Arkansas have been taken. That's when they moved over to come over to Paducah and all that. We have parts of Missouri. Uh, Northern West Virginia is our, is taken, but we're holding at least the southern portion of it. We're holding much of Northern Virginia, so I'm not complaining about that. We don't have the fort to the south. We might have to get a uh, a force down here 
We also have a fort down here, but I'm not worried about that. The biggest thing is we fought this to a stalemate. And I'm not sure what we're going to be hit with. So thank you all for joining me, guys. Don't forget to leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.